This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. History of Bollywood Bollywood is an informal term that is popularly used to describe the Indian movie industry which mainly produces films in the Hindi language. It is based in the city of Mumbai, India, and although people often incorrectly use the term for referring to the entire Indian cinema, Bollywood only represents a part of the Indian movie industry and not the whole. Not only is Bollywood the largest film-producing industry in India, but is also one of the largest in the entire world. The name Bollywood is a portmanteau word that has been created by combining the previous name of Mumbai, which was Bombay, and the name for the heart of the American movie industry, Hollywood. Although Bollywood is normally related to Hindi cinema, many Bollywood movies have been frequently found to use several regional languages, including Urdu, Punjabi, Bengali, and so on. There has also been an increase in the usage of Indian English both in the songs and dialogues of Bollywood movies. The Development Processes In 1913, Dot Saheb Falke made the first silent full-length feature film in India called Raja Harishchandra. Within no time, the Indian movie-making industry had developed into a gigantic film empire. By the 1930s, the film industry had started producing more than 200 movies every year. After numerous experiments in silent movies came a Lam era in 1931. This was the first Indian movie with sound in it and was made by Ardesh Irani. The movie turned out to be a huge commercial success, proving that India had a huge market for musicals and talkies. Later in 1934, Ardesh Irani made India's first English feature film called Noor Jahan. Quickly, most of the regional movie industries and Bollywood switched over to sound filming. When Bombay Talkies was released in 1934 by Hemant Rai, it spearheaded the development of Indian movies. The late 1930s and 1940s saw India go through tumultuous times as it was battered by several major incidences including the Great Depression, the Second World War India struggled to win its independence, and the hostility and brutality created by its partition. Most of the Bollywood movies that came out during this time were wishful and unabashedly escapist in nature. However, most of the filmmakers were able to tackle the tough social times and sometimes even used the Indian independence movement as the background of their films. Ardesh Irani made the first Hindi Indian color feature film called Kisan Kenya in 1957. However, it was only in the late 1950s that the use of colors in Hindi movies gained popularity. Soon, melodramas and lavish romantic musicals became the basic fare of all the cinema halls in India. A New Era of Bollywood, Golden Age After India gained its independence in 1947, the Indian movie industry never looked back. Film historians regard the period between the late 1940s and 1960s to be Hindi cinema's golden age. This era saw the production of some of India's most critically acclaimed movies which received recognition not only in India but the world over. This period produced classics like Payasa in 1957 and Kagaz Kaful in 1959 by Guru Dutt, Awara in 1951, and Sri 420 in 1955 by Raj Kapoor. These movies dealt with social themes and expressed the lives of the urban working class in India at that time. Several renowned epic movies of the Indian film industry were also made at this time. The most widely known was Mother India in 1957 by Mehboob Khan, which is still considered to be among the best movies made in India and was also nominated for an Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film and Mughal in 1960 by Kareem Asif. Western cultures were reincarnated in Bimal Roy's Madhumti Produces in 1958. Among the other successful directors of this time were Vijay Bhatt and Kamal Amrohai. The well-known actors of this period were Guru Dutt, Raj Kapoor, Dev Anand, Sunil Dutt, and Dilip Kumar. The actresses included Narjis Dutt, Mala Sinha, Madhubala, Meena Kumari, and Vahida Raman. Bollywood Model and Parallel Cinema Movement 
The 1950s also saw the emergence of the parallel cinema movement, which although had begun with Bengali cinema, gained a lot of prominence in Bollywood. Hindi movies belonging to this movement include Necha Nagar in 1946 by Chaitan Anand and Two Acres of Land in 1953 by Bimal Roy. Their commercial success and critical acclaim created a path for neorealism Indian filmmakers of the Indian New Wave. Other parallel movie makers included Sham Benegal, who continued producing realistic movies all through the 1970s. This period saw several action and romance films and was dominated by actors like Dharmendra, Mithun Chakraborty, and Rajesh Khanna and actresses like Mumtaz, Sharmila Tagore, and Helen. It also saw the emergence of Amitabh Bachchan, who slowly became a superstar and even today rules not only Bollywood but the hearts of millions of his fans. With movies like Sholi, Jai Shantoshima and Doer in 1975, Salam Bombay, Kayamat Se Kayamat Tak and Main Pyar Kia in the 1980s, and Hum Apki Hain Kaun and Dulwail Dulania Lujayanch in the 1990s, the modern era of Indian cinema had dawned. The Bollywood Movement Bollywood's popularity grew with the turn of the century, leading the industry to new heights with actors like Shahrukh Khan, Amir Khan, Hrithik Roshan, Sanjay Dutt, and Abhishek Bachchan and actresses like Rani Mukherjee, Kajal, Eshwarya Rai, Juhi Chavala, Madhuri Dixit, and Preeti Zinta, taking Bollywood to overseas markets and multiplexes having phenomenal success both in India and overseas. The Bollywood movement has been unparalleled all over the world. India has entered into several ties up with different nations all over the world, including South Africa, the USA, the United Kingdom, etc., which has grown stronger over the past few years. The Bollywood movement has put India on the international movie map forever, single-handedly producing more movies every year than any other film industry in the world. Budding artists from every nook and corner dream of working in Bollywood someday, and it is the ultimate dream of every Bollywood fan to catch a glimpse or get a picture with their favorite artists. In conclusion, it should be mentioned that although some people may say that most Bollywood movies are not very artistic or do not possess aesthetic tendencies which could be seen in the films of just a few exceptional Bollywood filmmakers like Satyajit Ray, the important fact remains that Bollywood actors and filmmakers display a speculative and unique impulse which is reflected by the hearts of millions of its viewers who live not only in India but all over the world. Such is the power and magic of Bollywood. This essay on Bollywood movies, history, and the Bollywood movement was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for, free of charge.